since the start of the invasion of Ukraine, several Russian weapons, including frontline T-90 tanks, have been captured. But this is not a one-way street. Several Western platforms have also fallen into Russian hands. Moscow will reverse-engineer Western technologies its forces have captured in Ukraine, according to Russian state media. Russian President Vladimir Putin told the state-run Russia One channel, if there is an opportunity to look inside and see if there's something that can be applied to us, well, why not? While his statement is not surprising, it has long-term ramifications. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes what NATO weapons have been captured by Russia in Ukraine. Let's get into the details. We are active on Twitter. Follow us there for real-time updates. Link in description section. The FGM-148 Javelin is an American, man-portable, fire-and-forget, anti-tank missile fielded to replace the M-47 Dragon anti-tank missile in U.S. service. The Javelin's high-explosive anti-tank or heat warhead is capable of defeating modern tanks by attacking them from above where armor is generally thinner and is also useful against fortification in a direct attack flight. The tandem warhead is fitted with two shape charges, a precursor warhead to detonate any explosive reactive armor and a primary warhead to penetrate base armor. Javelin has a range of 4.75 kilometers or around 3 miles. Even most modern Russian tanks can't withstand a hit from this system. It's been instrumental in pushing back Russian armor from Kyiv. Several captured Javelin are now in Russian custody. The FIM-92 Stinger is a man-portable air defense system, or man-pads, that operates as an infrared homing surface-to-air missile, SAM. Developed in the United States, it entered service in 1981 and is used by the militaries of the United States and 29 other countries. It has a targeting range of up to 4.8 kilometers or 3 miles and can engage low-altitude enemy threats at up to 3.8 kilometers or 2.35 miles. Stinger was one of the first weapons that the United States transferred to Ukraine and it's been used to knock out several types of Russian aerial assets, including low-flying combat jets. Russian troops have captured several examples of Stinger and have sent it back to Russia for reverse engineering. NLAW, or Next Generation Light Anti-Tank Weapon, is a joint venture between Sweden and the United Kingdom. NLAW has an effective range of 20 meters to 600 meters and has a soft launch system allowing it to be used by infantry from within an enclosed space. This is what made it a very effective weapon for Ukrainians who used hit-and-run tactics against Russian armor. Guidance is obtained using a predicted line of sight, PLOS. It has both overfly top attack, OTA, and direct attack, DA, mode. The missile has an active magnetic and optical sensor-activated proximity fuse. The sensor data is analyzed to match the known relevant target criteria before warhead initiation. As per a Sky News report, on August 20th, a Russian military cargo plane flew to Tehran and supplied it with an NLAW, apart from a javelin and a stinger. The Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle is an armored vehicle that's capable of transporting troops on the battlefield and providing fire support, as well as reconnaissance missions. These vehicles, which are quick and highly maneuverable, are operated by a three-person crew, consisting of a driver, the commander, and a gunner, and can carry up to half a dozen fully equipped soldiers. Bradley saw action during the Gulf War of the early 1990s and in the following decade during the Iraq War and was proven to be effective. Moscow said on June 13th that it had captured several U.S. Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, releasing footage showing Russian troops surveying the equipment supplied to Ukraine by Western countries. NLAW 
M777 Toad Howitzer is a Toad 155mm artillery piece. Made of titanium, weighing under 4,100 kilograms or 9,000 pounds, it's lighter than any other 155mm howitzer. Importantly, it's fitted with the General Dynamics Armament System's Toad Artillery Digitization or TAD system. The TAD Digital Fire Control System provides onboard ballistic computation, navigation, pointing, and self location, providing greater accuracy and faster reaction times. It also includes a laser ignition system, electric drives for the howitzer's traverse and elevation, and a powered projectile rammer. A damaged Ukrainian M777 howitzer was reportedly found by Russian soldiers after seizing Ukrainian positions in the Luhansk region during a bloody battle. Given the high-end technologies embedded in the platform, it is a noteworthy capture for Russia. The M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, is a light multiple rocket launcher developed in the late 1990s for the United States Army mounted on a standard Army M1140 truck frame. Since its initial introduction, it's undergone many updates to improve accuracy and reliability. It has one universal pod that can accommodate six unguided or guided missiles of 227 mm caliber or one MGM-140 Army Tacoms with a diameter of 610 mm. HIMARS has undeniably been one of the most impactful weapons the U.S. has provided to Ukraine. It's been used to blow up Russian ammunition depots, command and control centers, bridges, and even air defenses. Targets that were beyond the Ukrainian strike envelope earlier were decimated with HIMARS. Russia seems to have captured an intact rocket of the HIMARS as per some social media posts, which they claim is now being examined to find its weaknesses. Storm Shadow is an Anglo-French, low-observable, long-range, air-launched cruise missile developed in 1994 by Matra and British Aerospace, and now manufactured by MBDA. The French equivalent is known as Scalp EG. It's comparable to cruise missiles such as the American AGM-158 JASSM and the German-Swedish KEPD-350 Taurus. Storm Shadow is equipped with a TR-6030 turbojet engine, providing it with a max range of 560 kilometers or 350 miles and a top speed of Mach 0.95. Storm Shadow is equipped with a 450 kilogram or 990 pound two-stage broach warhead that can get excellent penetration even against hardened targets. On July 7th, the Russian state news agency TASS reported the Storm Shadow missile shot down by Russian forces in the Zaporizhia region was brought to Moscow for study. The outlet reported that the materials were obtained by Dmitry Brigozin, the former head of the Russian space agency Roscosmos, who now runs a science and technology center attached to forces deployed in Ukraine. Leopard 2 is widely considered to be the best MBT in the world. The Leopard 2 is also a commercial success and was exported worldwide. Export operators include Netherlands, Switzerland, Sweden, Spain, and Turkey, to name a few. German leadership has been hesitant from the start about providing the main battle tank to Ukraine, but it relented after pressure from Ukraine and the U.S. As per reports, Ukraine has lost a total of eight Leopard tanks, of which at least one has been captured in the Zaporizhzhia region. The excellent MTU-MB-873-KA-501 four-stroke, 47.7 liters, 90-degree V-block, 12-cylinder, twin-turbocharged and intercooled liquid-cooled diesel engine, the very good composite armor, and the Super Rhein Metall 120mm L55 smoothbore gun makes Leopard a great catch. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.